and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. Happy Fan Cells Friday to you all. Um, I have a selection of paintings that Fan Cells were kind enough to send me today to share with you all. So let's start with the bright one. I've just spotted through the canvas. So this is a bright one. Um, this just reminds me of a little, I don't know, of a little kid's drawing. Um, but I thought it was really, really sweet. And for those of us, myself included, that do really like the odd painting that is just full of colour, because it's full of colour, um, I thought this was really quite sweet. It has 20 different colours does come with DMC numbers. There is no 310 or 939 in sight. There's no white either. This is colour. Colour, 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 which is always good. So the actual size of the painting is 34 and a half by 25. So quite a nice little size. There is some blocking. There's a little bit of confetti but it, it, it's primarily a little bit blocky. Oh, maybe not too much. There is, there is quite a bit of blockiness here in, in the likes of, of the sun and the sunset. But then down here, it is a little bit more scattered. You'd still get to tip quite a few diamonds in and use it if you had quite a big section. Um, but it's not full confetti, for sure. Let's have a look at these colours. Let's have a look. Look at these. So we've got some bright yellow. Oh, there's only a few of the dark colour. That's fine. We like bright. So we've got some bright red, bright green, more yellow and orange. There's a little bit of burgundy and a little bit of brown. Nice lot of bright green. And then we do have a few more muted colours, but that's fine. They're only small. Some gorgeous amount of orange, nice blues, reds. Oh, just keep those bright colours coming, is what I say. I do like a painting with a nice bright colour. I was going to try and get those back in the bag, but that's not happening. Let's put them over there. <laughs> so, yeah, that is painting number one. Number two, are we open? We're open. Sometimes I try and open these so I can get a nice selection and other times I just open it for ease. So this one has got a little bit of colour but not a lot of colour. So these are, how many is there? Six little ostrich on the painting with different coloured beaks. There are 22 different colours. The light colours seem to be made up of 762 and 3024. There's no actual white, but they are pretty much all of an off-white. Off -right. They kind of hide into the background, but kind of don't. It's one of those that you think they're gonna hide fully into the background when you're looking at the symbols. But when you look away from it, not so much. We do get a toolkit, a wax pen, and the actual diamond painting size is just over 24 and a half by just over 34 and a half. So standard for poured glue. Oh, and it is, See, look, that's 762, so that's what you're making up your background mainly of, is a very, very light grey. They are in bags, which is nice, but I think all the bright colours are hiding up here, all the brighter colours. So let's see if I can fan them out a little bit more. So we do have, uh, well, they're not hugely brighter. There is a little bit of mustard yellow, mustardy yellow mixed in there. There's a little bit of bright pink, but it is primarily the light greys and beige that you do get in this one. 
So if that's not your blocky colour of choice, then do bear that in mind. But I think, apart from the fact I can't put the diamonds back properly, I do think that's, it's got that little pop of colour. Little pop that you appear to every now and then. It's not hugely blocky, even down here. It is still quite confetti. Does get a little bit more blocky at the top. But I still think it's a gorgeous painting that would look really nice when finished. So that was number two. And then number three, this one has some tape on it. Where's my scissors? It's taped up at the bottom. You normally do that, I think, when the bag's not quite big enough. Anyway. <coughs> this one is a bigger one. And it's upside down. And I can't remember which one it is yet. So we're going to open it. Oh, it's just the ocean in it. I love the ocean. I get that off my dad. Um, so this one is an 80 by 40. We have the lighthouse and the house next to it and the waves crashing against the rocks. This one is a square. I did want to check the diamonds just to make sure, but it has 23 colours. It does have some 310 and it does th have 3865 and 3866, which gives you a lot of this you know, light and clouds, but look at that, that's stunning, absolutely stunning. Oh, I only had all the time in the world to diamond paint. Um, so the size of this one, the actual drill area is just over 74 and a half centimetres by 34 and a half centimetres, so you do lose a little bit for the border and these are the colours so I think the only one that's hiding is can you see that little bit of yellow down there but apart from that you get to see them all so there is quite a bit of 3865 um, or is that 3866 what number is that 22 so there is quite a bit of 3865 I think this is 3866 so there's quite a bit of those two but then there is some other loads of blues and peaches and then there is a couple of little brighter colours hiding in there but not too many. It's mainly blues and greys and whites but that's to be expected because that's what a lot of the picture is. Even a lot of this green um, is likely to be greys mixed in with greens but the symbols are really clear symbols are nice and clear look at all that confetti down there so there is there is a little bit of something for everybody i probably start this side with with some of the blockiness and then get to some of the confetti later by the time i'm bored of blocking but i love the way that house has turned out so that is the selection of today's paintings. We've got a mixture, very bright, very light with a spot of bright, and then a lot more muted. Um, but I will pop the links down below to all of these, of course, in case you want to treat yourself. Um, but yeah, thank you to Fancells for sending me these items and for sponsoring today's video. And as always, Thank you guys for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.